What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here and today I'm going to show you how to get scrolling up and down on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. You just see right here. And this is uh, pretty easy to get. Everything you're going to need to get this is right out of Cydia. It's not nothing special or in some file that was made. It's all stuff right out of Cydia. So to get this, you're going to have to go into Cydia and I'll be using my iPhone to do this. You are going to download three uh, packages or apps. The first one you need to uh, download is 5Doc Icon and if you want to use like a 6 or 7Doc Icon I guess you can. I'm using 5. So once you've downloaded that the next one you'll need to download is Poof to hide icons and the last one you're going to need is right here Stack. We see here now there's five versions the one you're going to download is from the SOS repo, and it's the uh, version uh, 3.0, but also it's Alpha 2, meaning basically Beta 2. As you see, there's another one. It's just Alpha. You want the version 2. So now once you've downloaded that and those uh, two other applications that I mentioned, you'll come to your springboard, and you'll have four stack folders. Um, when you first download them, it'll say Stack, Stack 1, or excuse me, stack, stack two, stack three, and stack four. Now you're going to pick just stack, the original one, not one with the number after it. And uh, before we go any further, to set it up, go into settings. And again, this is in French. If you go down here to stack, you want the two bottom two checked, and you want the bottom one, say, image. It's hard to read, it's all in French, but just like that. Image, and then those two on, and the top off. Now that you've done that, we are going to SSH. Okay, come to our computer. And from here, we're going to backspace once. Go down until you get to stash and applications. Now in here, you're going to search for the folder, the app that just says Stack. Not Stack 2, but Stack. I want you to double click into that. And as you see here, it says Icon underscore B, Icon underscore Closed. Now that's the icon for this. Um, in my more info section, I'm going to give you a better tab to use. So uh, once you downloaded the tab to your desktop, go ahead and open it up. And uh, first thing we're going to do is I want you to right click on icon underscore B slide down to where you get to rename I want you to add a one we're not going to delete them we're just going to change the name after you've done that do it to icon underscore closed do that and hit one and do that next thing you're going to do is drag and drop the ones I give you in the more info section into the stack folder Hit that, and as you see, they're in there. Go ahead and close out of SSH. We'll come back to our phone. We're going to respring it. And basically, it's going to put that tab, as you see right there, on there that I made. So we'll come back. And as you see, I've changed the uh, stock or stack tab. So all I want you to do now is drag and drop it and place it down here like so. Okay, now once you've done that, all we're going to do is get our icons to move. And we're just going to drag and drop them in there. So just keep dragging and dropping all your icons in there as you see and you just keep going until you fill it up. Now this is part here with poof. Now if you don't want to hide all your icons so you only have one page like I do see it won't scroll no further over. I mean it'll go to spotlight but it won't go no further because everything's in here. You can hide all your icons which I'll show you or you can put them on page two. But I'll show you how to hide them. So you open up Poof. Okay. 
and we're just going to turn off all the ones that are not on our dock as you see here And just continue to turn them all off. I don't know I had that many on here. Okay. <clears throat> Let it respring. Now this is beta, like I said. So uh, the reason I want you to download Poof is if you do hide your icons instead of using it through Springboard settings, is so you could turn it back off if you need to. Um, that's the only reason I hid the stock app, so let me turn that back on. Leave stack on too. <laughs> let it respring and just get it so put it back down there like so and as you see it won't slide no over I still have my spotlight but all the rest of the apps are hidden so once you have them all in here like this they'll all be in here where you can scroll up and down with them like I said, I didn't put them all in there just for time, but I'll show you on this one. As you see, they just all scroll right there. So what else you could do once you've done that? Is theme it a little bit and give it a good look. And there you go. Now it's themed and you can scroll up and down right through there. So this is First Shift. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. And this is just showing you how to get the scroll to work on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. And uh, hope you guys like this video. Like I said, you don't have to hide the icons. You can put them on page two and then you won't have to deal with them. But I just hit all mine. So uh, just, just showing you how to get it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. It's First Shift. Talk to you guys later.